The best magicians are the ones with an ability to change something in a way that no one else can understand. But still, there are a few curious ones like us who love to analyze as to how it was done. So, be it Piff the Magic Dragon's amazing card trick or Jamie Raven's famous card trick. Hello and welcome back, and today we are going to figure out the secrets behind some of Got Talent's most famous magic tricks. So, let's get started. At number 5, the Giant Card Trick. Christian Lee, the magician known for his humorous and mischievous tricks, this time around starts his act by producing a bottle out of nowhere. Thereafter, he calls Amanda on stage and gives her a huge deck of cards. He tells her to pick a card in her mind and remember it. Then he does some funny stuff and brings his great looking mind enhancing device, using which he's about to read the card that she picked in her mind, which was the Six of Hearts. Finally, the only card that was facing the other way around in that deck was the Six of Hearts card that she had picked, and this is how he ends this amazing act. So, how did Christian correctly predict the card? The first part, where he brings out a bottle from that balloon, is easy to figure out. Yes, the bottle was hidden inside his left pocket, and using a quick hand gesture, he magically brings it out. Now, coming to the main trick, he correctly predicted that card without any use of sleight of hand, and it was done using a gimmick deck known as the Invisible Deck. And here's how the deck works. One side of each card in that deck is rough, and the other side is smooth. Now, since the texture is different, the cards can stick together or pull apart depending on how the magician touches it. So, it means that the deck has 26 pairs of cards stuck on their backside, and when the deck is fanned out, the cards are only shown face up. Also, one side of the deck has only odd cards, while the other side has only even cards. However, the sum of each pair of cards in that deck should add up to the number 13. And hearts should always be paired with spades, and diamonds should always be paired with clubs. Now here, since Amanda's card was the six of hearts, so now since Christian knew that spades are the ones paired with hearts, and to make it 13, he needs a number 7. So he fans the deck accordingly until he gets to the seven of spades, and now you know it, the card paired with it is the Six of Hearts, as he carefully pulls apart that pair by sliding it and reveals the backside of the Six of Hearts. Finally, he flips over that card to reveal Amanda's Six of Hearts card. At number 4, The Incredible Card Trick Jamie Raven, the master of misdirection, performed an incredible card trick on Britain's Got Talent where he left everyone amazed. Here's what he did. He brings along a deck which had a cartoon figure of a magician drawn on it, and asks Simon to name any card he wants. He doesn't touch the deck the whole time. Simon selects the Seven of Hearts. Seven of Hearts. Then, Jamie takes the deck as the cards are rushed by one at a time, and the drawings become an animated cartoon. Finally, the magician on the deck of cards comes to life and magically finds out Simon's chosen card. So. How did Jamie make the cartoon magician to reveal Simon's exact choice of card? Well, before revealing the secret, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get instant notifications of our new video uploads. Now, let's quickly get to the secret. The deck he used for the trick is a gimmick deck, known as a cartoon deck, and there are two cartoon characters drawn on each card. Also, this deck has the cartoon pictures drawn on each of the cards. One side is the cartoon character just going through the motion and taking off his hat and pulling out one blank card, while the other side of the card has a character revealing a particular card. The cards are arranged in a sequence, and every card picture that the cartoon character reveals has that real card placed below it. For example, if the cartoon character reveals Ace of Clubs, then below that card, there's an actual Ace of Clubs present. Also, for the cartoon deck to work, it needs to be in order. In this frame, as you can see, there's an Ace of Clubs card followed by a Two of Clubs. So, this confirms that the whole deck is arranged in such a manner that each card has a card placed over it with a cartoon drawing of that same card. Now, the presentation is what makes the trick impressive. If Jamie just said pick a card, 
and he grabbed the deck and took out the bottom card and showed the judges, and that card happened to be the card Simon chose, it wouldn't have been that impressive. But here, Jamie presented in a way that made everyone think that the whole deck was made for that one selected card, when in reality, it's just the bottom card that has the specific chosen card on it. Now, Jamie never touches the deck, which makes this trick tougher to execute than the common method, where the magician takes the chosen card out of the deck and goes with the sleight of hand to bring the chosen card at the bottom of the deck. Also, Jamie is quite good at creating stories around his act. Here, he gets a choice of card from Amanda and Alicia, which was the Nine of Clubs. Thereafter, he gives Simon the option to overrule the first selected card and chooses Seven of Hearts. So, the small talk he gave to the judges, in a way, forced Simon to change to Seven of Hearts, which was, after all, an easy-to-perform trick, as hearts were at the top of the deck. Now, Jamie knew hearts were at the top of the deck, so instead of taking out the card, he ran through the deck and counted seven cards. Here, the sixth card from the top had the Seven of Hearts picture, so he applies a pinky break in between the sixth and seventh card. Now, for those who don't know Pinky Break, it's a technique used by card magicians to secretly mark a spot in a deck or slight lift it up. Thereafter, using his thumb, he controls the Seven of Hearts pictured card and pulls it back. This clears the rest of the deck and allows him to push that card at the bottom of the deck using his palms. From the front side, everything looked normal. Then he rotates that card to the other side where the cartoon is pictured, revealing the Seven of Hearts. All this sleight of hand is done by Jamie away from the camera, and since he's a master of misdirection, he had everyone looking at the giant screen when he made the move to the bottom. Finally, Simon's chosen card is revealed to amaze everyone around. At number 3, The Scary Doll Trick The sacred Rihanna surely knows how to scare people, and this time around, she performed a voodoo doll trick on America's Got Talent. During her act, she first appears from under the curtain and walks up to the judge's table. She then takes out the judge's photo from the box and folds it. She now unfolds the photo, but what do we see? Mel B's head has mysteriously disappeared from the photo. Thereafter, a box magically opens as she pulls out a voodoo doll which had Mel B's disappeared face on it. So how did she do it? Well, here's the secret. The part where she appears under a piece of curtain, it looked like she came from nowhere. However, the table had a secret compartment built inside the table, and she was hiding inside the compartment before the trick had started. We couldn't see the compartment as it was all black and there was a fire burning in between which concealed that secret space. Thereafter, she takes out the judge's photo from the box and makes Mel's head in that photo to magically disappear. Well here, if you see carefully, Mel's head was already pre-cut before the trick, so during the moment when she folds the photo, she tears that already pre-cut head and hides it with her left hand. But still, how did Mel's face appear on that voodoo doll? Well for this part, the box placed on the table has a small hidden compartment inside which there's a duplicate doll placed with Mel's face on it. Yes, that's another face from a duplicate photo. Now the box is spring-loaded and remotely triggered to make it open. So at first, Rihanna only shows the doll in the main compartment, and there was another doll in that secret compartment. Now when the box opens, Rihanna puts her hand inside, and during this moment, she switches the doll in the main compartment with the doll which had Mel's face on it to make us believe in this scary illusion. At number 2, The Card Prediction Trick Piff the Magic Dragon a famous magician from the United Kingdom is not just a skilled magician, but also has a great sense of humor. He once performed a trick on America's Got Talent auditions where he invites Heidi Klum to the stage and tells her to pick a card randomly from a deck of cards and then sign on it. He also takes out a huge card from the box, but it turns out to be a different card than the one she picked. Now, bending Heidi's card in different ways, Piff magically transforms the selected King of Hearts into his predicted Seven of Spades card. So, how did he do it? Well, the secret lies in that huge card in his hand. Yes, that card was pre-selected by Piff before the trick, and in a scenario where the judges were somehow allowed to change that card, then the whole act would have been spoiled. Fortunately, that didn't happen as the Seven of Spades card stayed in the act. 
Now this trick's an easy one. The King of Hearts that Heidi selected was pasted over a Seven of Spades card. Also, that card was pasted in the form of a sticker in four parts. Here, the space of the card where Heidi writes her initials was not part of those stickers, so her signature stayed there. Now, all Piff did was to scratch each of the four stickers one by one to make everyone believe in the illusion. He also made sure to hide the part that he's rubbing behind his fingers. So, no matter which card Heidi picked, it was always going to be the Seven of Spades card matching Piff's prediction. Now you'd think, how did Heidi only select that gimmick card from the deck? Well, that gimmick card was forced onto Heidi. If you look at this moment, you can see him separating a card behind his fingers. Also, he hides that gimmick card under his left hand at the bottom. Now, when Heidi chooses the card, he squares the cards up with that card on the bottom and instantly flips it over to make this amazing act possible. So finally, the last and a very famous trick on our list, the Disappearing Spheres trick. Josephine Lee, one of the best female magicians, performed an amazing disappearing act on Britain's Got Talent, which wowed everyone present. Here's what she did. She begins the trick by taking out a levitating sphere covered under a wire cloth and reveals the sphere. Thereafter, she levitates the sphere in air and does some amazing levitation tricks with that sphere. To make it even more special, she even uses a hula hoop ring and passes it around that sphere to convince everyone that there's nothing in between. Then she levitates the sphere to an even greater height and magically drops it in the box placed on stage. The sphere is now in the center of the box. Thereafter, she takes out a white cloth, spreads out the cloth, and what do we see? The sphere disappears and is now underneath the cloth, which magically floats in air, resembling a ghost. Similarly, she levitates another cloth in air with a sphere hidden underneath. After opening the door, the sphere again peers, but this time around, after levitating the cloth in air, she goes inside the box and closes the door. Finally, the box opens, the levitation stops, and she ends the trick with a unique disappearing illusion that saw her apparently teleport through the box onto the stage. So, how did she do it? Well, this trick has two key scenarios. First, the mysterious levitating spheres, and second, the teleportation part. Now, for the first part, everything that floated in this act were supported by invisible strings and were already attached to each side of the spheres before she enters the stage. The strings were connected through the box in such a way that the right end of the strings passed through the top of the opened box, while its left end went through the hole in the right side of the box. And the trick started with the string attached to both sides of that balloon. But still, who controlled their movement? Well, there were two assistants hidden on each side of the stage who controlled the movement of the strings. And now you must have got it. Everything you saw levitating in air were controlled by the assistants and were responsible for the amount of tension and slackness applied to those strings and kept the spheres from dropping. This made the balloon to appear out of the box and then magically levitate into the box. But what about the two floating cloths? Well, they too are pre-attached to the strings on both sides and also, underneath each cloth is a semi-spherical shaped device attached, which expands and releases. That's the reason why it resembled a levitating sphere when in air, and once she appeared, the cloth drops on the floor, which created the illusion as if the sphere disappeared. Now, regarding the hula hoop, she was able to rotate the hula hoop around the sphere up and down without affecting the string on the left and right side of the sphere. But what about the disappearing spheres inside the box? Well, to understand this, we need to look at the next part of the trick, the teleportation part. Now, the box placed at the end of the stage has a built-in mechanism with a secret hidden compartment at its base. Also, inside this compartment is Josephine's look-alike assistant who was hidden all this while. Yes, she was the one who made the spheres to appear and disappear by placing and hiding it inside the compartment. Also, at the end, when Josephine spreads out the curtain, here, she quickly gets inside the curtain while her look-alike assistant was the one who goes inside the box, which made the act look convincing to the viewers. Finally, Josephine reveals herself to end this amazing illusion. So guys, hope you got the secrets behind Got Talent's most famous magic tricks. Which trick did you like the most? The amazing cartoon trick? The scary doll trick? Or the disappearing spheres trick? 
and name any other magic trick you would like us to reveal. Let us know in the comments below. Do like and share this video with your friends on social media. For more such amazing things, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And finally, thanks for watching.